that you think 2014 is going to be a good year for the dollar, but yeah. which crosses should investors be looking at? I suspect we're going to see most of the drama against the euro um, and against sterling, because they've been two of the currencies really in the second half of, of 2013 that I think performed better than many people anticipated. And, and so I think that's where you look for the biggest reversal. That's where, if you like, the starting points are, are in place. I mean, for example, we've got 128 for year end on euro dollar. We've got 150 for year end on cable. So, you know, there's two pretty sizable moves from current levels. Now, the interesting thing about cable as well is we've got, you know, the market aggressively pricing in uh, rate hikes sooner yeah. or later. We've got the Bank of England still sounding dovish. Which camp are you in? Well, I've got to admit, I'm in the camp of the Bank of England to an extent. I mean, at the moment now, we've got a hike priced in more or less for the end of this year by the market. And, you know, I'm, I'm not convinced the Bank of England are convinced of the merit of that at this point. You know, they've, they've tried to be flexible on the unemployment level. So I think they'll, they'll want to delay that, unless, of course, the economy is super performs. But I don't think, without wages growth, I don't think we're going to have the ingredients in place for some kind of explosion of UK growth. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the bearish sterling camp as a consequence. Also, we've got the PMI today and also the ISM. What are you expecting that to show. Yeah, it's a, it's a funny day, isn't it? Because we, we've got this gap between New Year's and, and really when the market begins in earnest on Monday. Yeah, and um, today is pretty artificial, isn't should it? Should be, should be. But you know, these are these are pretty key numbers. You know, the UK PMI has been very strong and really, I think, somewhat at odds with what we've seen in terms of UK manufacturing data. So the, the, the survey has been stronger than the hard number. And in the US, of course, you know, the ISM at this kind of level, although we're looking for a small retracement today, would still be consistent with pretty strong growth and ongoing tapering and I think dollar strength.